Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker and today I am going to show you how to make a gator style face mask on the Great Maker Show and Tell. Are you looking for a simple face mask that needs no elastic and can double as a scarf or even a headband? Look no further than this easy gator style face mask. This stretchy tube fits right over your face and doesn't cover your ears at all. So it's really very comfortable. It's great for people who like to wear headsets and earbuds. And bonus, it provides a little sun protection on your neck as well. My guy Greg loves this style. So to make a gator face mask, you are going to want a stretchy cotton knit. This can be an old cotton t-shirt with plenty of stretch, or you can go to the fabric store and buy a four-way stretch interlock knit, just like I have here. Either way, I recommend that you use a different color for the inner layer and the outer layer, just as I have here. So I've got this blue sunglass style and the pink, and that way you can always tell the difference between the two layers, and you don't accidentally put a layer that should be outside against your face. Other things that you're going to need for this project include a way to cut out your fabric. You could have, of course, just used scissors or a rotary cutter, or you could even use a Cricut cutting machine. You'll also need a way to keep it all together, of course. A sewing machine works really great here. A needle and thread are just fine as well, but if you don't have either of those, you can use a fabric adhesive glue uh, like Fabri-Tac if you prefer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sew it with a really simple sewing machine like this one. It's really very easy, and this is the perfect beginner project. Oh, and the gator mask can have a nose wire right at the top, just look right up here if you want as well. And I'm gonna show you how to add one. And you just need a four inch long piece of uh, 18 to 22 gauge wire, even a pipe cleaner will do in a pinch. Last but not least, you need my free pattern. So I have the pattern right here and you can uh, get this over on my blog. So let me show you where to find the pattern and then I will show you how to sew this very easy and comfortable face mask in less than 15 minutes. Step one, get my free face mask pattern. You can download my Gator face mask pattern from my blog at jennifermaker.com. Just go to the red bar near the top of the blog and look for libraries. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. Once you're inside the library, you can find the pattern by searching the page for Gator. Once you found it, just click the link, download the file and unzip it to access the files. My Gator face mask pattern comes in several formats. You can use the printable PDF if you're cutting it by hand or use the SVG cut file if you're cutting with a Cricut or another cutting machine. Here's what the Gator face mask uh, PDF pattern looks like after you've printed it out. And if you prefer to cut this out with your cutting machine, here's what the Gator face mask SVG cut file looks like once you've uploaded it to Cricut Design Space. Note that the top three rectangles are for youth, the bottom four rectangles are for adults. And the two gray rectangles on the side are the filter pockets. The top is for the youth and the bottom is for the adults. Now, if you're not sure how to upload an SVG cut file to Cricut Design Space, you can watch my video training series at jennifermaker.com SVGS. You can also do this on an iPhone or, or an iPad or on a desktop or laptop. Step two, cut out your gator face mask pattern pieces from fabric. If you're cutting the gator mask by hand, just print out the printable PDF, cut out each pattern piece as directed, and use it to cut your fabric. Note that your fabric is folded into quarters before you cut each layer. This is really important. Fold it like I am here and then match up the fold indicators on your pattern to the folds in your fabric before you cut it. Uh, you'll note here I'm using some pattern weights to hold my pattern in place while I cut my fabric. You can get the tutorial to make these yourself at jennifermaker.com slash DIY pattern weights. 
And be sure to cut two layers of stretchy knit fabric for your gaiter face mask. Step three, make the optional filter pocket. If you want to add the filter pocket, cut out a piece of fabric with the filter pocket pattern that's included in my files. Take the layer of fabric that will be the inner layer of your gaiter face mask and fold it in half the long way. Mark that center point, the, you know, the, the point where you folded it, that's the center point. Mark that center point with a pin so you know where it is. Now fold the filter pocket in half the long way and mark its center point with a pin. Now you know where the center of each of these two pieces of fabric are. You're going to want to line these two up. All right, so you line up the inner layer of your gaiter mask and the filter pocket along those center points where you marked with pins. And you want to uh, position your filter pocket one inch down from the edge, the top edge of your gaiter mask. Be sure the wrong side of your pocket is against the right side of your inner layer and then pin in place. Now sew the filter pocket to the inside layer of the gator face mask where you pinned it along the two edges and the bottom edge at a one quarter inch seam allowance using a straight stitch. Be sure to leave the top opening and that's the side that's closest to the top edge open because that's where you're gonna put your filter in, right? Be sure to do a back stitch at the start and end of your sewing to keep your pockets secure. Step four, pin and sew the long sides of your face mask together. Place your outer layer of your mask on top of the inner layer of your mask. Be sure the right sides are together and the right side is the side with a design on it if you have any. If you added a pocket in step three, the pocket side should be facing the outer layer. Pin in place. Now fold your two layers in half the long way with the pocket at the top, if you have one, and mark the top center point of your gator face mask. Then measure about three inches on either side of the center point and pin again. Put two pins immediately next to those last two pins. The two pins are going to be a signal to us where, where we're going to start and stop our sewing. That's why we put those two pins there like that. It is so you don't have to do it, but I find it really helpful. Now starting at one long end of your mask along the side that has those double pins. Sew with a zigzag stitch or surge with your serger, uh, whichever one, from the corner until you get to where your double pins are and stop. Now move your fabric up and resume sewing from the second set of double pins all the way down to the bottom edge of your fabric. That leaves you with a gap in the middle of uh, where you sew, where you sewed it, and that's we're gonna use that later to turn your face mask right side out. So that gap is really important. It's also really important that you use a zigzag stitch or you use your serger when you're sewing fabric with stretch like this knit fabric. A single straight stitch doesn't allow enough flexibility for knit fabric to stretch and the seams can break when they are stretched and it will stretch as you're using it because it's stretchy and that's normal. I'll also note that I'm using a basic sewing machine for this project, so my stitches may appear slightly different from yours if you're using a serger but the directions and results are the same. Uh, don't worry about that. Now sew the other long side of your face mask all the way from the very beginning to the end with the same zigzag stitch or your serger stitch. You should be left with a long tube with both short ends still open, just like this. Now remove the pins. Step five, sew your gator face mask tube together. Once both sides are sewn, 
stick your arm through the long tube that you've made and pull the farthest short side with the raw edges inside the tube so it meets the other short side's raw edges. It's a little bit confusing, so watch what I'm doing here in this video. Your ends should meet up, creating a fold with the right sides of your fabric still facing the insides. You should still have a tube, it's now just a shorter one. Match the seams together and pin along the outside edge. You're only pinning two layers together, not all four. That's important. Now still using your same zigzag stitch that you've been using, sew all around the ends until you get to your beginning stitch, making sure not to sew all four layers together. You're only sewing two layers together. And so when you're all done, you should still have a tube that you can put your arm through when you're done. Step six. Turn your gator face mask right side out. After you've sewn all of your edges together, find the holes that you left in the top edge in step four when you made your gator face mask. It may look a little like rabbit ears. Start pulling your fabric through one of these holes. It doesn't matter which one. To turn your fabric layers right side out. Once your fabric is right side out, it's time to close up the hole that you used to turn your face mask right side out in the first place. Now, if you want to include a nose guard wire, now is the time. Just cut four inches of wire, fold the ends so the wire doesn't want to poke through the fabric, and tuck the wire under the edge of one of the seams in the hole of your gator face mask. Either way, whether you put a wire in or not, I recommend that you pin everything in place. Now sew the hole closed, with either a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch. It doesn't really matter which one it is too much because it's not gonna stretch a lot in that four inch spot. Just be careful that you don't sew on top of your wire, sew around it. If you accidentally hit your wire with your needle, you could break it. And congratulations, you have made an easy gator face mask. Try it on and see how it fits. Wasn't that easy? And I love how versatile this gator face mask is. When I don't want to be wearing the face mask, like when I'm you know, walking outside, I can just push it up as a headband or push it down and wear it like a scarf. I love that I don't have to take it all the way off. And I really like how it doesn't cover or touch my ears. Plus the stretchy knit is super comfy and it really just feels like a soft, uh, comfortable t-shirt. This may be, may be my new favorite face mask. Now it's a little warm on a hot day, so I suspect I'll wear this gator face mask more in the evenings and when the weather turns chilly, but it feels really great. Now, if you're looking for another face mask pattern, I have six patterns to date. In addition to this gator face mask pattern, I have the original fitted face mask pattern that I did first, the no sew face mask pattern, the veil face mask pattern, I love this one, the scarf fa face mask pattern, which is this one right here. This one is so cool, I love this one. <laughs> then get this one open for you so you can see it. Isn't this pretty? And I also have a new one, which is all one piece on the front, so you can put like a vinyl design or inf even infusible ink on this. Now I'd love to see your face masks. Please share them. Come uh, to our sewing circle at jennifermaker.com slash sewing group, or come on over to my Cricut group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut crafters. 
everyone is welcome. Oh, and if you don't have a Cricut yet, you can win one in my monthly Cricut giveaway. Just enter at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. Do it every month. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.